What's up guys and welcome back to another video where we're going to be diving into the private car collection of a celebrity. Now you know how it works, all you have to do is comment the name of a celebrity down below and the name that comes back the most often is the person that we'll pick for next week's video. So guys, today we're talking about Travis Scott. So there's actually still over 70% of you who aren't yet subscribed to this channel. So if this is your first time here, then why don't you hit that subscribe button down below and join us for many more of these videos. Now Travis Scott, as I'm sure you all know, is an American singer songwriter with a net worth estimated by Forbes at around 58 million dollars. Clearly quite likes cars. Himself and his girlfriend Kylie Jenner actually have quite an impressive collection. We've already done a video on Kylie Jenner's car collection which features a Bugatti Chiron, a Ferrari LaFerrari and much more. The link will be somewhere around here. But today we're going to see in Travis's collection there's also a Laf, there's also a Bugatti Chiron, there's a Lamborghini Aventador SV, there's a Lamborghini Huracan, a Ferrari, there's tons of cool stuff. So we're going to get into all of that right now. First of all, just to clear the air with one car that Travis has been associated to the Toyota MR2. Probably not what you were expecting the first car to be, but this is a car he was associated with because it featured in one of his pop-up stores in New York. There are actually two in his pop-up store, both with actually bird poo on them. <laughs> That's because they were meant to represent cars that were living outside for a long time in the area in which Travis came from and therefore didn't have any protection. So they were actually in his pop-up store, but weren't his personal cars. So just to clear the air on that before, because when we started doing our research, there was one car that we came across quite a bit. Travis has a pretty crazy collection. It starts off pretty strong with a customized Range Rover autobiography. Really cool looking thing, finished with some Forgiato wheels, which kind of match the paint of the car, which is like a goldy brown. It's a really, really cool spec. And that's gonna be a recurring thing we're gonna see in this collection, is Travis Scott loves going kind of wacky and crazy with his specs and trying out new things. Another 4x4 he's got, which he actually left fairly stock, is his Lamborghini Urus, which is in a very light silver. We haven't seen him that much with this car. There's a video of him kind of hanging out the window and a couple photos, but awesome looking thing. V8 twin turbocharged, Lamborghini 4x4, five seater, massive amounts of power and torque. These things are awesome and really popular car. As we've seen in quite a few other celebrity videos, seems to kind of be the fashionable thing if you live in LA and you have a 4x4 to get an Urus at the moment. Travis obviously a fan of the Italian brands then went to Ferrari as well for a very different kind of car, a Ferrari 488 twin turbocharged mid-engined V8 Ferrari. Completely kind of stock this one. He had it in coupe, 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 however you say it. Awesome looking thing and this was one of his first supercars that he went with. The first of many to come. Now the first of the kind of really wacky, crazy cars that he's got. I think this is so cool. This is going May back. G650 Londolet, Londolet, not too sure how you say it. Super rare car, so it's based on the G-Wagon 4x4 squared or 6x6, basically the big version of the pre-facelift G-Wagon by Mercedes. Now Maybach is obviously the luxury end. It was its own brand before, which has now been completely taken over by Mercedes, and they use it kind of as a trim level in some of their cars, like the S-Class, and in this case, the G-Wagon. So the 650, because it has over 600 horsepower, from a V12, twin turbocharged V12, completely modified interior, so there are only two seats in the back, and they're kind of like business or first class seats in an airplane, that you can lie down almost completely flat. You've got two screens in front of you, you've got a fridge, you've got champagne glasses, you've got everything back there. Uh, limited to only 99 pieces worldwide. What makes it really cool and where the name Londolet comes from is because you can take the roof off, only the rear section of the car. And this was something we saw back on a Maybach 62S back in the day. So they brought that back with this new G-Wagon. It's a car which is estimated to be worth around a million dollars today. So super expensive car, originally they were around 600,000, uh, but because they're so rare, only 99 pieces worldwide, uh, they've gone up in value quite a bit. Travis Scott was able to pick one up. I think it's pretty cool, because that's a real connoisseur's piece, you need to know what it is, and in LA there are so many G-Wagons, 4x4 squared, 6x6s, Brabus, every kind of G-Wagon, and this is probably the most rare, so awesome, awesome car. Next up we've got two Lambos, so... <laughs> It's a random peace sign in the middle of the video. First of all, the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4, naturally aspirated V10 engine in this, 610 horsepower, four-wheel drive. It was available as a two-wheel drive car, but Travis actually bought this car black, stock originally, but it didn't take him too long before we put a pretty wacky wrap over it. It's kind of like a purple with white, 
camo wrap. Fairly insane looking thing. This is one of the cars he was actually seen in driving the most. When it was black, hasn't been seen that much since he had the wrap on it. Uh, because he was then seen driving his second Lamborghini quite a bit, which was tuned by West Coast Customs. It's a Lamborghini Aventador SV. 750 horsepower on this one, four wheel drive still, and completely modified by West Coast Customs. One of the most awesome looking Aventador SVs out there, I think. It's finished in completely matte brown outside. They wanted to go with kind of like a chocolate look Aventador with this, so they did the outside, but not only that, they completely retrimmed the interior, which is a really nice touch. It's got the original comfort seats from the Aventador SV lineup, but they've completely retrimmed with brown Alcantara. The standard stitching, which is finished in white. It's an awesome, awesome looking thing. There's white leather as well on the, on the dash. Um, and this is probably one of the most unique cars he's got out there because there aren't many people who would take a limited edition Lamborghini like this, only 600 worldwide roadsters, and completely modify it in the way that he has. So very, very cool. Props to Travis, props to West Coast Customs as well, who are very well known for doing a bunch of celebrities' cars. Awesome, awesome piece in the collection. And now we get on to the big two, the two hypercars. First of which, Travis Scott's probably most famous hypercar so far, and his first one they bought was his Ferrari, LaFerrari. Now what's pretty cool is himself and his girlfriend, Kylie Jenner both have a LaFerrari. Kylie's is black, awesome looking thing, whereas Travis Scott's is a kind of more traditional red with the black roof. Again, looks absolutely awesome. He's been seen driving this thing around. Also pretty hard. I mean, take a look. He's in a rush. Obviously, this has to be one of the coolest cars you can buy currently. Well, if you can get your hands on one because they were all sold out pretty quickly and are now going for massive premiums. So I expect that Travis Scott obviously bought one second hand because he's only been seen with his recently. So probably around the $3 million mark, but it's nearly a thousand horsepower from a hybrid V12. Sounds awesome. Super, super rare car that will definitely hold its value long term. So a pretty good buy for him. You'd think most people would stop there, right? You got a 488, you got a Hurricane, you got an Aventador, you got the Maybach G-Wagon, the Urus, the Range Rover. But no, recently it was Travis Scott's birthday, his 28th birthday, and he bought himself a Bugatti Chiron. Awesome looking car 1500 horsepower from a w16 in this thing is just the total beast and it's kind of like the creme de la creme the ultimate car that you buy if you're a celebrity living in la and you've made it you buy yourself a bugatti and this is kind of the latest greatest bugatti as i said 1500 horsepower his is a really classy spec it's another car that his girlfriend kylie jenner has as well she has one uh, in white and black with an orange interior whereas travis scott's is kind of a more traditional dark exterior now there aren't many photos of him with this car or videos because obviously he got in the car only when this video comes out. I think it was only about 10 days to two weeks ago. So on the day of his birthday, took delivery of a Bugatti to complete his collection. There may be others that we haven't yet sort of heard of or seen him driving around in, but these are the cars he's been most associated with. Awesome, awesome things. I personally love the look of his LaFerrari. That would be the one I'd go with, or I love what he's done to his Aventador SV as well. Why don't you comment down below which of these cars is your favorite, which one do you think he nailed it with, or which one do you think he should have stayed away from, and then we'll be able to have a nice conversation in the comments. Also remember to put the next celebrity you want us to talk about, and we'll be able to make that video for next week for you guys. But awesome. Congrats, of course, to Travis Scott, who will probably never see this video but on an epic car collection. Once again, just a little reminder, if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll be seeing you again next week. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.